Texas has 1. million acres of freshwater lakes, ponds, and reservoirs. It's where we play, where most of our drinking water comes from. And surprise, all but one of our lakes are man-made. Lakes and ponds are fascinating and complex ecosystems. Scientists think of lakes in layers. What you see along the banks and in shallow areas is different from life deep down, where it is colder and darker. Each layer is a balance of aquatic life, water chemistry, dissolved oxygen, light, and nutrients. But a new threat is spreading quickly, turning some of our lakes into now you see it, now you don't. Giant salvinia, water hyacinth, and hydrilla are highly invasive exotic aquatic plants that can double in size in a week. They choke lakes, ruin fishing and swimming, and clog water intakes for water supplies and power plants. These invasive plants and animals were likely introduced into the wild when someone dumped out a fish aquarium or a water garden overflowed into a creek and into the watershed. Zebra mussels are another invader that's made its way to Texas. Once colonized, they can overfilter a reservoir, removing vital plankton and nutrients from the aquatic food chain. Zebra mussels damage boats, foul shorelines, and even intercity water pipes costing millions of dollars to repair. Their microscopic larvae can survive for days in water trapped in a boat. Make sure you're not spreading invasive species. Always clean, drain, and dry your boat, trailer, and fishing gear. And never release unwanted aquarium pets or water into natural waters or storm sewers. If we aren't careful, it's hello exotics, goodbye Texas lakes, and no one who loves Texas wants that to happen.